This is actually the fifth technological revolution. The first one was the so-called industrial revolution in England. The next one, railways and telegraph. The third one was transcontinental railways with cheap steel, plus transoceanic telegraph and steamships, so it was the first globalization. After that came the whole automobile revolution. And now we have the internet, which is another huge infrastructure that changes everything. You know, it's interesting to see that every revolution has had a golden age in the second half, precisely after the bubble collapse, after the recession and so on, then is when the golden age comes, the Victorian boom, the after-war boom, the Belle Epoque, etc. One of the wonderful things about the smartphone is that it helps skills and education across the world. So we could have a rising of everybody, a lifting of all boats. The market, the financial world, already did two very important tasks. It installed the technological revolution and it globalized the economy. But the markets won't do it alone. We need governments to act and to act very clearly and in a concerted, convergent way. In order to get growth, we now need to have a direction that will allow growth to happen without reaching the limits of the planet. And that, I think, is enormously possible. We can have a global, sustainable golden age based on the information revolution. In about 30 years, we could have a wonderful world where all the developing countries are developed, all the advanced world workers are back into a good life, and of course, everybody would have the smartphone serving as the retail service center of the whole thing. And then we'll have another revolution and another turbulent wave of change. That's how capitalism works.